Oh no, I think I've got a puncture. Oh no, it's a dreaded rear wheel puncture. Luckily, there's a bench that I can use for repairs. So I'm going to take my Brompton, I'm going to put him on the bench, and then I'm going to repair my rear tyre. Alternatively, I could do it on the pavement. But it's easiest, or I find it easiest, to turn the Brompton upside down so that I can take the rear wheel out. My poor bicycle, my lovely shiny tyre, has got a puncture. Luckily, I have an inner tube in my pocket. It's a Shawby AV4. I like these because they're thinner than most other inner tubes, so they're easier to fit. Because it's a cold day, it's about two degrees, so it's below six degrees. I'm going to replace my inner tube, not to try and repair it, because the sticky pads won't stick in cold weather. One nicely balanced Brompton on a bench. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the gear indicator chain. I'm going to undo the locking nut. Then I'm going to untwist using the knurled bit. Then remove the gear indicator chain. If you can't twist it from here, it's easier to move it to the top and then rotate it. Once it's slightly undone, it will untwist really easily. We're going to put him on the side for safekeeping. The next step is to remove the tension from the chain by removing it from the ta chain tensioner. Removing the tension from the chain prevents the chain tensioner from flying off when you undo it. It makes the whole process so much easier. I always ride with my toolkit, so luckily I've got all of the tools I need to change my inner tube. First of all, I'm going to get the 15mm spanner to remove the chain tensioner nut. The chain tensioner nut is not done up very tight, it's finger tight and a little bit more because it does up onto plastic and you don't want it to crack. Next I'm going to remove the chain tensioner. Next I'm going to undo the nut that's holding my wheel in place. This is done up tight. I only undo the nut to the end of the axle so that then I don't lose the tab washer or the nut. Now I'm going to undo the other side. To loosen the tab washers, I'm going to give the wheel a wiggle. Then you can pull the tab washers out, but because the nut's in place, you're not going to lose them. He needs a bit more of a wiggle. Because I have a flat tyre, I don't need to let any more air out of my tyre. I can now simply remove him. I'm now ready to do my puncture repair. The tar levers are kept in place by a little clip. The tar levers are held together with a little magnet. 
There are two tyre levers. One has a notch in it, so you can attach it to your spokes. Because it's easier to remove your tyre at the opposite side from the valve, I'm going to rotate my wheel. I'm going to make sure my tyre lever is the right way up. I'm then going to insert it underneath the tyre. And then I'm going to connect this one to my spoke. The second tyre lever needs to go not too close, but not too far from the first tyre lever. Now I'm going to remove it without the tyre levers. I really can't believe how easy the Shawby ones are to take off. Before I install my new inner tube, I'm going to check the inside of the tyre to make sure there's nothing sharp that caused the puncture. I'm going to do this with my gloves on so that I don't hurt my fingers. Looks good. I'm going to unbox my inner tube, taking the rubber off, but not chucking it on the floor. To remove the valve cap, put that on the side, and then the rim nut. Now I'm going to put a little bit of air into my inner tube. Some people complain that these inner tubes are too big for the rims, but they will be compressed within the tyre. I'm just checking which way up my tyre was installed on my front wheel so that I can match it on my rear wheel. As the Schwalbe ones are rotational, I'm going to check that they're going to go on the bike the right way round. So the wheel rotates this way. So my rotation needs to be this way. Now I'm going to line my inner tube up with my W on my Schwalbe so that it matches my front wheel, but making sure I get it the right way round. Next, I'm going to put the valve into the valve hole. Then I'm going to seat one side of the tyre onto the wheel. Once that's seated, I'm going to put the second side onto the wheel, working from the valve side. they do just pop back on. The advantage of AV4s is they have a rim nut. This holds your inner tube in place when you pump it up. They shouldn't be done up too tight because over tightening them can cause you to split your inner tube. Now we're going to put the wheel back in the bicycle. Putting the chain on the sprocket and then the axle into the frame. Then we're going to make sure the tab washers are the right way up and are in place. The tab washers say top on the top. I'm going to make sure the tab washer is seated 
properly in the frame. And then I'm going to tighten the nut up, finger tight, for now. Then I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to make sure the tab washer is seated correctly. Then I'm going to tighten the nut up. I don't have a torque wrench with me, so I'm going to do the nuts up quite tight. Next, I'm going to put the chain tensioner back on the bicycle. It has a cutout that fits on the frame. Next, I'm going to put the chain tensioner back on. Then I'm going to put the chain tensioner nut on the chain tensioner. It needs to be just over finger tight. So I'm going to tighten it finger tight first. And then slightly tighten it. Then I'm going to put the tension back on the chain. Next, I'm going to put the gear indicator chain back in. Because I didn't check what gear I was in before I stopped with my puncture, I'm now going to make sure I'm in the highest gear before I adjust my hub gears. so that the cable is at its slackest. Then, I'm going to attach the gear indicator chain using the knurled nut. We were just about to show you how to set up the hub gears, but our camera ran out of battery because it's such a cold day. So we've put a link to the video that we've made before on setting up hub gears. Now, I'm going to pump the tyres up. I'm just going to tighten up the rim nut slightly, because now it's far too far away from the rim. Then, I'm going to put the valve cap on. It's important on Schroeder valves to stop the dirt getting in. Then I'm going to ride home and pump up my tyre using a track pump. If you like this video, please let us know and give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. Did we miss anything? Please comment in the comment section below. I think I should have chosen a slightly wider bench. My Brompton keeps wanting to jump off. Next, I'm going to put my wheel back in my bicycle. <gasps> when I get home, I think I'm going to oil my chain. He's a little bit squeaky. Luckily it's not very tight. They're not supposed to be very tight because it's on plastic. Next, I'm going to remove the nut that's holding my axle on. No. I'm trying. Okay, just like that. Then you just slide it along. Ah. It's really hard work to change a tyre with freezing cold fingers, but they're not white anymore. 